Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can unlock five super rare cars from the skill trees of five not so super rare cars. Now in order to do this you probably need a minimum of 300 skill points to start off with and four out of the five cars that I will show you you can purchase from the auction house, uh, the auto show sorry, one of them you will have to win. Now as I've just shown you there are accolades for getting all of these five special cars so we're going to start off here with the 97 Lamborghini Diablo. SV. Now like I said you will need plenty of skill points to unlock the other cars from the skill mastery trees of these ones so we're starting off here with the Diablo. Now once you've got the car you can pick it up in the auto show for 170 odd thousand credits. You want to go into the skill mastery tree and in the top right hand corner there you can see a little car in front of a gift wrap present. Now you want to try and go along the bottom as far as you can with these skills to use as little as possible. I didn't there. Um, but for this Lamborghini uh, Diablo SV you unlock the 99 Diablo GTR which again like I said is a super rare car and it can be sold in the auction house if you wish to do so. Now these cars that you'll win they don't necessarily have any cool skills or anything that you can sort of really get in the mastery trees apart from some credits and XP here and there. Um, so there's nothing ultra special it's not like horizon 4 where you'd get a forza edition car through them now the next car we're going to use is a 1969 dodge charger now this one again can be purchased in the auto show fairly cheap it's not overly expensive but i'm sure you guys have probably won them in wheel spins again when you go into the car mastery tree you want to go along the bottom as long as you can and then up all the way to the little gift wrap one where 50 skill points will get you the dodge charger daytona now this is again, it's another very cool one. If you don't want them, you can sell them in the auction house, but it's good to add to your car collection. And like I said, each one of these comes with an accolade. So there's more accolade points associated with it. The third one here is the 2012 Jeep Rubicon, the Wrangler. Now this again is the cheapest one you can buy in the auto show for 50,000 credits and it unlocks you the Deberti Design Wrangler. So again, another very, very cool one. You probably need about 65 skill points in order to unlock that one. So that's the third one there. Now we're going to move on to the fourth one. So you need to purchase or win or unlock the 1995 Porsche 911 GT2, which is the most expensive one to purchase in the auto show at just over half a million credits. But when you go into the car mastery and unlock the rare car from this one, you will unlock the Hoonigan. I'm not even going to pronounce that one, but the Hoonigan 911, which is the sort of special drift one. And again, another very, very cool one. If you don't want it, you can always get rid of it or sell it or whatever the case is. Now we're going to move on to the fifth and final one. And to start off with, you need the 1990 Savannah Mazda RX-7. Now in order to unlock this car, you have to complete the Horizon Super 7 three times, which is actually really quite easy. So once you've done that, you want to pick up your RX-7 and then go into the skill tree of this one. Now these actually sell for quite a lot in the auction house. So if you haven't got it, I recommend you do do the Super 7. Don't get one in the auction house because people may have used the skill tree up on this one. Now in the car mastery of this one, you will unlock the Mazda RX-7 Twerk Stallion, another Hoonigan car. And again, a nice, very cool one. So along the way as well, you'll have picked up lots of XP through the skill trees, credits, wheel spins, um, falls of thumb points, etc. So it's definitely worthwhile to do this. On top of that, once you've done all of them, you get about 60,000 XP through all of the skill points that you've spent and all of the XP that you've earned in the skill trees. So you'll level up a few times and get some more wheel spins. So if you have had to purchase some of these cars, you'll probably get your money back through some of those. On top of that, like I said, you get the accolades unlocked, so there's some more accolade points through these, and there's one accolade where you can win the Renault Megane RS, I believe it is, just for unlocking one of them, whichever, may, whichever one it may be, just for the first one that you do, you'll get another accolade complete. So there you guys have it, there's five super rare cars unlocked through the skill trees of five not so super rare cars. If you're struggling with anything or you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I'm always happy to help out. But if this did help you out, I'd very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel too. Apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.